can you name the classic Toyota model that debuted in 1964 and was followed by the legendary Helix, the best-selling Takoma and the formidable Tundra? We can give you a hint. It was Toyota's first attempt at entering the light-duty truck market in North America. It's the mighty Toyota Stout. The Toyota Stout, once a trailblazing figure in the small pickup truck market, is said to be experiencing a spectacular resurgence. However, recent market changes brought about by the popularity of new models like the opulent Hyundai Santa Cruz and the reasonably priced Ford Maverick have redefined expectations. These new faces have prompted a rush of industry rumors, suggesting Toyota is seeking to rekindle its legacy in the segment. There is a palpable gap in the market, with the Hyundai Santa Cruz not taking off as predicted and the Ram Rampage not set to enter the American state. This is the perfect canvas for a legendary revival. When Jack Hollis, Senior Vice President of Automotive Operations at Toyota North America, alluded to the company's interest in a smaller truck, the mystery only deepened. In a 2022 interview, Hollis pointed out a spot in the American lineup that was just waiting for a compact truck, a position that the Stout might fail well. Remember that the Stout was Toyota's first successful light truck in the North American market, helping to set the stage for the eventual success of the Helix. Is the Stout the model of choice to redefine this particular segment? Even while these breadcrumbs are exciting, it's critical to maintain a balanced viewpoint. Launching a vehicle involves many steps, starting with filling a trademark. We are excited to see what the next chapter in the Stout drama will bring though, as these actions suggest Toyota may be interested in rekindling the Stout flame. The resurrection of the Toyota Stout has taken an interesting turn. Virtual automotive artist Dimas Ramadan has created CGI renderings of a possible fourth-generation Stout. The sleek sophistication of the Hyundai Santa Cruz and the straightforward minimalism of the Ford Maverick are very different from Ramadan's fictitious Stout. Rather, it's packed full of toughness, which gives the idea of an unabashedly sturdy appeal. Copper Ericsson, Toyota North America's SVP of product and BEVs, revealed that the team is currently developing something that would eventually go under the Toyota Tacoma in the lineup, lending further credence to these rumors. Based on his own single-cab 1982 Toyota Helix experiences, Ericsson imagines a roomy SUV truck hybrid that overcomes the limitations of compactness. The platform selected may significantly impact how the Toyota Stout is reborn. The Stout's design might trend towards a unibody construction, which would likely be the best option for city dwellers given its likely position as an urban runabout. When combined with an optional all-wheel drive system, it would appeal to a wider range of consumers by providing individuals who don't require off-road capabilities with improved fuel economy and cheaper maintenance. The GAK chassis from Toyota appears to be a good fit for the Stout's design. This platform, which is already the foundation for vehicles like the Highlander and RAV4, promises a high degree of body stiffness and a low center of gravity. Imagine a Stout with a low-mounted dashboard and hood, providing the driver with excellent sight and a fun driving posture. Additionally, its architecture may produce a large volume of cargo and a roomy cabin, two essential features for a compact vehicle. By using the same platform as the Corolla Cross, the Stout can appear as a dual-cab pickup that is prepared to make a distinctive impression on its market. The anticipated comeback of the Toyota Stout begs the important question. Will it come as an electric competitor amidst the surge in hybrid trucks in the auto industry? The popularity of hybrid vehicles is demonstrated by the Ford Maverick, whose electric version accounted for half of its sales in the United States in 2022. This, along with a record 86,000 orders placed in the first week of sales for the 2023 model, clearly indicates the market's electrified trend. The appeal of a hybrid, which provides quick torque, reduced ownership costs, and increased efficiency, supports the idea of an electric stout even more. The tiny truck market is poised for an electric competitor, maybe the Toyota Stout, as Hyundai's Santa Cruz continues to make significant progress in the US market. A compelling blend of the past and the future could be on the horizon. It is reasonable to anticipate a dual-cab configuration in the prospective Toyota Stout revival as it offers both convenience and practicality. When we explore the projected tech integrations though, that's when the true magic happens. At the center of the Stout might be a new infotainment system from Toyota that comes in a variety of touchscreen sizes and has five times the processing power of the previous model. 
a new voice assistant that comprehends and reacts to genuine conversations while providing control over numerous in-car amenities such as the radio and climate systems could improve the user experience. OTA software updates for bug fixes and new features could be included in the system, welcoming the age of smart upgrades. With Google's point of interest feature-based navigation and onboard Wi-Fi, you can anticipate flawless on-the-go connectivity. Further plans for improved mobile connectivity include wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, as well as Apple Music and Amazon Music streaming capabilities. The reimagined Toyota Stout wants to be more than just a little truck with these planned features, it wants to be a mobile electronics haven. According to speculations coming out of Toyota headquarters regarding the Stout's potential resuscitation, a market-ready compact truck is anticipated by 2024 or 2025. Bob Carter, the former executive vice president of sales for Toyota North America, hinted in a Motor Trend interview that the schedule would be disclosed during the company's private briefing in June 2023. However, how much does this new competitor cost? With a projected starting price of about $23,000, the Stout is predicted to be an affordable option. This clever pricing places the Stout as a competitive alternative to the 2023 Ford Maverick, which will retail for $22,595, and the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which will retail for $25,700. It also presents the Stout as a good value for those looking for a more compact yet capable pickup. But by 2025, the consumer's ultimate cost might increase. The Maverick, for example, began at $19,995. For people who don't need the capability of a full-size truck, the new Stout may still provide significant savings, despite possible price changes. Also, let's talk about other pickup trucks from Toyota. Right now, Toyota has been one of the newest truck lineups in the business. Completely revamped, the fourth-generation Tacoma mid-size truck made its debut for the 2024 model year. And two years prior, the Tundra full-size pickup experienced the same thing. Although the larger Toyota has a higher output than the smaller vehicle, its gas engine has two extra cylinders and one more liter of displacement. The 2023 Tundra has a standard 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6 engine that generates 479 pound-feet of torque and 389 horsepower. When paired with the 8-speed automatic transmission, that's 161 horsepower and 236 pound-feet more than the base 2.4-liter turbo inline 4 engine of the 2024 Tacoma and 111 horsepower and 162 pound-feet more with its iForce 2.4-liter turbo 4 upgrade. The difference is much higher with the 6-speed manual. Only the Takuma is available with a manual transmission. However, both pickups are available in RWD and 4WD versions. Depending on the drivetrain and trim, the 2023 Tundra is estimated to get 17 to 18 slash 20 to 24 miles per gallon in the city and on the highway. The smaller truck will likely be more fuel efficient. Takuma powertrain has a 2.4-liter turbo 4 producing 228 horsepower slash 243 pound-feet of torque or 278 horsepower slash 317 pound-feet of torque. The Tundra powertrain has a 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6 producing 348 to 389 horsepower slash 405 to 479 pound-feet of torque. The Tundra's hybrid drivetrain has an advantage in engine output, much like the gas-powered models. The Takuma's hybrid's iForce Max 2.4-liter turbo 4 and electric motor provide 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque, while the larger pickup's V6 and electric motor generate 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. Both trucks have 4WD and RWD versions. The Toyota Large Trucks 2023 Hybrid received EPA ratings of 20-24 miles per gallon city-highway with RWD and 19-22 miles per gallon city-highway with 4WD, which is significantly worse. Because of its smaller engine, the hybrid Takuma should outperform the Tundra in terms of fuel efficiency. Takuma Hybrid Powertrain has a 2.4-liter turbo 4 and electric motor producing 326 horsepower slash 465 pound-feet of torque, while the Tundra Hybrid Powertrain has a 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6 and an electric motor producing 437 horsepower slash 583 pound-feet of torque. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, 
don't forget to hit the like button down below. And if you want to stay updated with more great content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button and ringing the notification bell so you never miss any future content from us.